Freedom Caucus member, Republican from Arizona. Congressman, uh, would you join us in wanting a more forceful presentation of the benefits of, of the tax cuts? A more forceful, get, get to the Democrats and say, what are you thinking describing this as pathetic crumbs? I, I, I guess around this table, we want more force. We want more juice. What say you? Yeah, I agree with you. We need to be out there and really hammer this home. And I think we do it best when we tell stories of our, of our constituents because in reality, I can't go anywhere in my district without people saying, yeah, yeah, I've got a bonus or I've got a bonus coming. Um, small businessmen and women are telling me we're going we're gonna to expand our business. That is the message. And we too often sit back and, and say, well, you know, it's not pathetic crumbs. We, this is one where you can actually bop the other side right in the nose and say, you're wrong, you're clearly wrong. And we're going to be going into this is this is great news because I think we're going to move up to just about a four percent GDP growth this next quarter. And I know that's too wonky. We need to instead of talking about that, talk about you as the American people. You're seeing the benefits, and you're going to continue to see the benefits. And that's the story, and that defeats the other side. Um, Congressman, would you just hold on for a second? Senator Jeff Flake is now speaking on the Senate floor about President Trump. I'm going to go to him briefly. Let's listen to what he's got to say. Stand against power that would weaken it. In this effort, the choice is quite simple. And in this effort, the truth needs as many allies as possible. Together, my colleagues, we are powerful. Together, we have it within us to turn back these attacks to right these wrongs, repair this damage, restore reverence for our institutions, and prevent further moral vandalism. Together, united in this purpose to do our jobs under the Constitution, without regard to party or party loyalty, let us resolve to be allies of the truth and not partners in its destruction. It is not my purpose here to inventory all the unofficial untruths of the past year, but a brief survey is in order. Some untruths are trivial, such as a bizarre contention regarding the crowd size at last year's inaugural. But some untruths are not at all trivial, such as the seminal untruth, uh, untruth of the president's political career, the oft-repeated conspiracy about the birthplace of President Obama. Also not trivial are the equally pernicious fantasies about rigged elections and massive voter fraud which are as destructive as they are inaccurate. To the effort to undermine confidence in the federal courts, federal law enforcement, the intelligence community, and the free press, to perhaps the most now that's, vexing... Uh, uh, that's Senator all. Jeff Flake, Republican from Arizona, on the Senate floor right now with a litany of attacks on President Trump. With us now still, Congressman Andy Biggs, Republican from Arizona. I'm sure you are listening to that, Congressman. What's in the water in Arizona with you Republicans? You know, I don't know, Stuart. It's, it's very interesting, but I will, I will tell you this. Arizona remains firmly in the uh, Trump camp. Uh, the polling in Arizona just, that I just saw recently, they support President Trump probably more than they did at the election day. And why is that? It's because he made campaign promises. He's trying to deliver those campaign promises. And, and the only place where he's not getting support, quite frankly, is in the United States Senate because of their 60 vote rule they won't bring a lot of our bills that we've done to further the Republican Trump agenda they're just leaving them, leaving them on the shelf so I don't know why we're focusing on the personalities here we should be focusing on the policy and the procedure and let's get this stuff done because that's what the American people want that's what Arizonans want okay would you I, I can tell you that for would sure. you, are you in favor of the following compromise on immigration build the wall you end chain migration and you end the lottery. In return, you accept that the dreamers can stay. Now, that involves compromise on both sides. You're in the Freedom Caucus. Would you make that compromise? I personally would not make that compromise, and I'll tell you why. Um, we were promised in 86 a single amnesty of about a million people and that we'd get increased border security, internal enforcement, etc. We didn't get that, but we got about 5 million people within 10 years. We were promised that when we, were, when we had a wall built or to be built and funded under President Bush, the funding got pulled. We never got the wall. I, I firmly believe that the promise was that we would build the wall. And you keep your campaign promises, that's what the people want. So until I see funding, the, build, the wall started and completed, 
I'm not willing to uh, give up on an amnesty of any kind. By the way, nobody wants just DACA, by the way. They don't want DACA. They want farm than DACA. Okay, so it's still, we're all at loggerheads, and uh, there's no deal at this point on immigration. Uh, Congressman yeah. Biggs, thank you very much for being with us at a very poignant time. We do appreciate your appearance today, sir.